us even to find some time to get any kind of practice run for you, just given the circumstances. And so wondered how you felt physically uh, in the 15 minutes out there tonight compared to what your expectations were. Um, better than expected. Better than expected. Um, you know, didn't get, like, uh, like you guys know, um, not as much practice, no no team practice, definitely. So everything had to be done, um, you know, with, with coaches and, and guys and with the traveling, it's always hard to find, you know, good time. So, but better than expected. I felt uh, I'm still unathletic. So um, the infection didn't affect me much. I'm, I'm st- still not a very athletic guy, which is still the same. So that's good. Fair enough. Uh, do you do you have an idea yet about tomorrow if you'll be able to play? That's that's a plan. That's a plan. Unless um, bearing something happens and or wake up with you know something that I I'm not falling down. Uh, Go ahead. Um, yeah. Unless something happens overnight, which uh, I don't expect to. Um, the plan is to play tomorrow around the same time. Hopefully a little bit more. That's more on the medical team. Um, you know, the, we're trying to be smart about this, but. Um, but I'm happy, very happy to to be able to be out there and, uh, and and help the guys. And Mark, tonight's game included, but what have you noticed about how this team needs to play without LeBron and AD and uh, what role that you can take up in that? Um, we have to be more consistent, especially defensively. Um, you know, we had too many breakdowns um, on the open court. We know uh, once we set our defense, once we communicate and every, every, everyone is tied together, um, you know, our chances of getting stops are much, much higher, and that fuels our offense, that gets us going. Um, you know, we had too many uh, breakdowns, too many breakdowns uh, on, on transition, uh, too many, uh, sh- you know, plays that we there, but we're not there. Uh, you know, you have to close out all the way. You have to do, the, like, the extra step. Um, and, yeah, uh, offensively, you know, keep sharing the ball, keep making the next play. Don't get stagnant. Uh, don't be predictable. Uh, and play as a team. So uh, I think we, you know, obviously we're not getting the results that we want um, as a, in 48 minutes, but we getting better as a, as a team. And I think guys understanding, you know, how important it is to play with one another. Hey, Kyle Goon, please. Hey, Mark. First of all, I'm glad to see you back and healthy. Um, but I'm going to pick up on a word that you used, infection, and ask, um, you know, were you – suffering from the effects of COVID-19 during your absence and and what were some of the obstacles in, in getting back? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, and it got me pretty good for, uh, you know, five, six days. Um, I was uh, down. Uh, you know, I couldn't move much. Um, you know, the, 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 the biggest sim- symptoms um, or the worst symptoms for me um, were, were the headaches, um, difficulty of breathing, uh, especially when you try to move, you try to go upstairs and, uh, and, and, and it, it really, that's when I, when I realized how, you know, um, how hard it was and, and how, you know, it was uh, impacting my, my body and, uh, you know, the body aches, the, the fever, all that, uh, you know, it's, it's manageable, but the headaches and, and, uh, and the difficulty to breathe were definitely, you know, to me, the worst symptoms. Um, the loss of taste and smell that happened too. I'm, get, I'm slowly getting it back. Um, it's, it's it's serious, and uh, you know you, it's not only about you and and how you deal with it. It's it's who you pass it on to. Uh, you know, sadly, you know, it went around the house too. So it's it's nothing you know to to play around with. It's something very serious. Okay, Bill Oren, please. Mark, I'm curious. You know, in this year where it's so much has. Um, been put in place to allow the season to be played and, and to keep players safe. Um, has your perspective on on the whole enterprise changed at all? Just as having had a, pos- a positive test, was it? Um, just as, how has your perspective on this NBA season changed, if at all? It, it hasn't. Um, you know, it's something. It's a risk that you, you know, that we all going through. Um, you know, uh, I wear the mask every day. Um, I keep my distance with everyone. Um, even doing all the right things, um, you you still can get it, and um, and that's what uh, what happened to me. You deal with it. Um, you stay in the moment. Um, you try to get a little bit better every day. And like I said, it's you know it's about being as responsible as possible, given the circumstances. It hasn't changed my approach on the season, my view. Um, I think we all understand this is not 100 um, percent proof. Uh, 
what we're trying to do here and, and, and you know, hopefully you know, we, we get through the season and, um, and have, have a, you know, as, mo- as many people as possible vaccinated uh, by, uh, you know, by the, by the playoffs so people can come and watch the games and enjoy, you know, what we do. Okay, we'll just take a couple more here. Um, Mark, we're going to go with Dan Wojcicki, please. Hey, Mark, uh, kind of two things. Um, as, uh, yeah, I mean, you kind of joked about how it didn't affect your athleticism, but like you said, you know, if something, I mean, you are a pro athlete and walking up the stairs was difficult. Um, how scary was that? I mean, just that um, simple thing. That's when it, it got serious for me. Um, you know, first couple of days uh, didn't really um, affect me yet. I didn't have uh, many symptoms, just a little bit of headache. I'm like, well, you know, hopefully I'm going to be pretty much asymptomatic. Um and then when, you know, when it hits you, it hits you really hard, at least for me. And uh, it was, you know, I just thought of my kids at that point. Uh, you know, I didn't want them to go through that. I didn't want my wife to have to go through that. Um, so that's what I worry about it uh, the most. And then I guess secondly, um, you mentioned vaccination. Um, it's becoming more and more available to teams. It will be available or has been already available to your team. Um, is that a message you've shared? Uh, obviously, you just said it with us. Is that something you've shared to your teammates about sort of the importance of this and maybe you can use your experience as a... As a it's a personal decision. Um, it's a personal decision. I'm, I will never, you know, tell somebody what they have to do. Um, you know, I think it's a personal decision. Everyone has to um, do their own research and, and, and do what they believe is best for them, for the people that they know and love and, and also for people that they don't even know. Um, so, you know, it's... You have to make your own research and make your decisions. We all grown uh, here. Um, I can't get it now because I had it. So I think I have to wait uh, to make that decision. Um, but, you know, everybody makes it and, and we all will respect without judgment. Okay, Dave McMenamin, please. Mark, it sounds like uh, the top of your mind was your health and the health of the household members who were affected by it. What was it like? experiencing what the team was going through at the same time and, and being separated from them, I imagine for some of it. And then, you know, obviously everything that's happened with, um, you know, since LeBron's injury. It puts, it puts basketball in a, in a different place that at that moment, um, or it puts basketball in the right place at that moment. It's not that important um, to you. Obviously you, 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 you want to be around the team, especially when you start to feel better. That's the first thing you think about, like, okay, let's, you know, let's, um, I, I got a bike uh, in the house. I got a couple of weights. Um, so I started moving. Um, and it was challenging early on the first couple of days moving. Um, but, you know, that's the first thing. As soon as you get energy, um, you know, your mind and, and body goes right into it. Uh, wants to um, get back out there and help your team. Um, by the time Bron got uh, injured, I was already around the team. Um, so, you know, it's it's been part of the season it's, you know things happen you, you and, and, and you react to them and, and move on and, and, and whenever you know those guys are back they'll back they'll be back we can't worry about that right now okay last question david Villafranca with efe hola mark para la gente de españa me alegro de tenerte de vuelta ya aquí con el equipo eh, dos preguntas la primera cómo te has visto hoy de vuelta en la, en la cancha tus sensaciones Y la segunda, que nos cuentes un poco cómo han sido estas semanas con el protocolo de coronavirus y cómo has vivido personalmente pues, este, esta enfermedad, ¿no? Sí, bueno, el, el contento por haber, haber vuelto, compañeros. Um, obviamente no tanto por la, por la derrota, pero feliz de, de poder estar en la pista y de disfrutar de, de lo que hago, que, que somos muy afortunados de, de poderlo hacer. Y después sí, han sido unas semanas um, largas, difíciles, um, pero pero siempre pensando en la, en la mejora, en, en la salud de los, de los demás, intentando sobrepasar la... Y, y nada, yo digo, ahora mismo pensando ya en, en ir mejorando cada partido para, para, el, para el playoff. All right, all set. Thank you so much, Mark.